Wow, friends, Rob here doing a response or review the Westboro Baptist Church to Picket Sly Stallone's son's funeral. This is an all time low. Now you cross the line. I mean, that's terrible, terrible to do at someone's funeral, their son's funeral. They're going to pick it. So they're so righteous. They're so perfect. They have angels' wings on. They have halos over their head. Come on, man. I mean, if you think this is completely out of line and unchristlike, hit the like button. Give me your comments. And, you know, I, I almost hate to admit it, but I am also a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, just because someone says they are or they go to a church or have a church logo doesn't mean they're acting the way Christ did or would want them to, or basically a long biblical patterns. I mean, you're going to pick at someone's funeral, their son's funeral? This is insanity. This is wrong. And it just goes to show you the people that follow these type of cult-like tactics, they're completely in delirium. They're whacked out of their head because the Bible really is the gospel of love, my friends. Now, before I get into this, the desire to subscribe to my ministry channel, go for it, hit the subscribe button. Also under the search, Rob would want, I've got many of the Christian preaching, teaching, ministry videos via YouTube where I talk about the Bible, Christianity, heaven, hell, angels, demons, etc. But, you know, John chapter 3 verse 16 is so simple, my friends. If we can just live this scripture, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Whoever would believe in Jesus would not perish, would have eternal and everlasting life. And if we could just serve and follow that golden rule of love, my friends, and walk the way Christ did. You know, obviously there's another flip side of the coin, but for the most part, the gospel is the gospel of love. That's what Christ taught. That's what he ministered. That's what he preached. Would, would Jesus really pick at someone's funeral? I mean, you got to ask yourself that question. It's crazy. So... You know, man, it's about loving people, man. It's about serving people. It's about heart, having a heart of compassion, grace, mercy, kindness. And, you know, the Lord desires no one to perish under the sound of my voice. He desires everyone to have the assurance and insurance that when you take your last breath, friends, you will make heaven your home. And the only way to have that assurance is by having Christ in your heart. Remember, he comes by invitation only. Bible clearly says today's the day of salvation, tomorrow's promise to no man. In other words, you've got to answer the call while God's calling you. You cannot keep hitting this spiritual snooze button. So you control the doorknob. God didn't create robots. He gave you a free will. You can accept Christ due to obedience. You can reject him due to disobedience. If you want to accept Jesus into your heart, say this simple prayer with me. Say, Jesus. Thank you for dying on the cross of my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. Again, if you desire to subscribe to my ministry channel, go for it. Also under the search, Rob Wood 1. I've got many other Christian preaching, teaching, ministry videos via YouTube. But give me your comments. I know this church is really notorious and infamous for picketing and trying to stir up, you know, uh, you know, just get really under people's skin and get involved with the whole anti-gay thing. Come on, man. Just win. If they would be better off, if they would get in prayer and just love people and win people to Christ. Hey, the Lord loves you. Be blessed. God has a plan for your life. Follow it.